turbulent march of events as the Fourth Republic nears the climax in this worst post-war crisis. 125,000 demonstrate in midweek in the heart of Paris against General Charles de Gaulle. On this same day, Premier Fenelon won a vote of 408 to 165 in favor of his proposed reforms and then resigned. The vote meant far less than it seemed and there was no confidence that his government could deal with the looming threat of civil war. His resignation left de Gaulle more than ever the key figure in this ordeal of France. Prominent in the four-hour demonstration were former Premier Mendes Strantz and many other liberal and leftist leaders, as well as many uninvited communists. Socialists and radicals demonstrated against de Gaulle while being forced toward ultimate support of him by their greater fear of the only alternative, a popular front government shared with French conscience. The focus of interest shifted to the presidential palace. Newsmen waited round the clock as President Coty took unprecedented steps, summoning the nation's most influential persons to argue that de Gaulle was the one figure with the prestige and strength to bring France out of crisis. Other pressures mounted. In Paris, de Gaulle supporters plotted traffic laws for a new kind of demonstration, a noisy, cheering motorcade through the streets. De Gaulle had been nominated to the assembly on a take-it-or-leave-it platform. He would accept office, he said, if granted broad powers to govern by decree for a fixed term and to prepare a sweeping constitutional reform to be voted on by the nation. In Paris and in Algeria, popular uproar mounted. The threat of insurrection was growing by the moment, and before this threat, the National Assembly yielded reluctantly. De Gaulle was once again Premier of France, thanks in large part to President Coty, who had threatened to resign if the general was not voted in. It was another turning point in the 169 stormy years since the fall of the Bastille, a tangled political history in which France has had two empires, three monarchies, one dictatorship, and four republics. War changes clearly in prospect. The crisis is far from over. To control a reluctant National Assembly, de Gaulle could always threaten to resign while the specter of civil war still looms. To control rebellious army leaders, he has little more than his prestige. The situation remains precarious, but after days of paralysis, a turning point is past, and events in France are again on the march. <laughs>